Okay, Mike, microphone, we're actually at the red was next, and then we'll go back to you, sir, in the blue with the white jacket. Yep, you're next, right here. Okay, can you just speak into the microphone, and we only have time for a couple more questions, so make it quick, okay. thank you. Forget of you, party. The, my question is going to be to four of you who are going to get my vote, my family vote, my friend vote, but that question has to be to all four of you. What you can do for me after 40 years in this country with the shoes, my granddaughter have a cancer and they were, thank God, because God healed her, but I have a problem in two weeks to have a medicine and it costs $1,000 for medicine every two weeks. That's the question I want for all of you. The question they say every, every... Uh, Okay. Can you please talk? Yeah. Can you ask a question, show you. please? I have Thank to you. show you what is this in regard to my grandchildren. I've been talking many issues. All they are good. I've not been mentioned here. Senior, children, poverty, okay, single Okay, sir, could that. you ask a question, please? Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. When you watch your time, it's not mine. Okay. Okay. Forget it. I want the, who, what you can do to me after 15 years of work very hard now I'm in this present time with the shoes here I have a stone in the night and my grandchild has been two years really okay. desperate Thank you. I'm their... not sure I understand your question so maybe afterwards if you want to ask them privately you okay. can do okay. that okay. and want... we're going to move on to our next question okay. Okay. I Thank I want... you okay well, you can ask them after okay you can answer the question? Okay. Well, first of all, I want to thank you very much, and I, I think I understand what you're, what you're asking, is that you basically feel that after so many years of hard work and, and, and working hard for your family and, and doing all it takes, you feel that somehow you've been abandoned and your family's been abandoned by government. And the issue of uh, drug and prescription, uh, dr drugs prices uh, and health care are important ones. And that is the reason why we are uh, promoting in our agenda, a fully costed agenda, a catastrophic uh, drug coverage uh, for individuals uh, who need it. But I think that your question also, and I felt your passion, is that at the end of the day, governing is really about helping one another, helping each other. And you need governments that, that understand the plight and, 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 the, and the struggles that individuals like yourselves face every day. And I understand that. I come from a working class background. My father drove a truck. He worked very hard to make a living. And I understand the sacrifices he made so that I can get a university education. And thanks to the support of Vaughan residents, represent them in the House of Commons 18 years later, after coming from, from Italy 18 years later. This is what your question is truly, what public life and, and politics is truly about. It's making sure that individuals like yourselves are helped. And that's the reason why I got into public office. For me, it's not a job. It's a vocation. And public is about helping you. Thank you. I know Mr. Quatella. I've worked with Mr. Quatella, and I understand his question and his feeling quite, quite well. The sense of alienation in Vaughan is huge, and it comes from 20 years of alienation from the Liberal Party, okay? And this is what's happened here, is that there's a tremendous sense of alienation. When you look around you and you see no health care, when you see no passport office, when you see no immigration services, when you can't get a health card in your own community. This is, this is very disappointing. But what we've done for you, Mr. Quatella, is we've introduced the income splitting for seniors. This is a policy where your taxes as a senior are reduced significantly, and it's also a policy that Mr. Layton uh, did not support. So, and Mr. Dion has actually gone on record as saying that he would cancel it because it's not a priority for him. So as a result, your taxes would go up, Mr. Quatella. And the way we've tried to help you is to try to reduce your burden as a senior as a, and as a taxpayer, okay, in, in the city of Vaughan. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir, for a, a great question. First of all, uh, tax shifting allows us to do things that the Conservatives cannot do, such as increase your old age supplement by 25%. We also uh, have th programs like universal child care investments. We uh, uh, we want to lay the foundation for a natural, for a, a national pharmacare program, which in the third year would total about a three billion, three billion dollar investment. And um, with respect to the next generation, like your par your daughter, and uh, or your your sons and daughters, and then their children, we introduce we're introducing income splitting for everybody, not just seniors, and that will help young families. And as and with the next generations down the line, we want to create a safer world, and that covers everything from you know our carbon dioxide, our rapidly increasing carbon carbon you know this. Curve of the curve of death, as I call it. Other parties stand by and want to pass the buck to the next generation, but we want to do something about that. To lowering cancer rates, lowering disease rates, uh, for, for everybody, including uh, our kids. And uh, we're going. You know, we want to make a, a safer, healthier world. For Thank the you. Um, I, I also, uh, our, our, our platform for the NDP, it, it includes a, a pharmacare uh, health plan as well. We really want to make sure that anybody who needs those prescription drugs that cost so much right now um, because of all of this uh, straight-to-consumer um, straight to consumer advertising and just being completely ripped off by these huge drug, drug corporation, corporations which aren't being properly regulated. Um, in order for Canadians to actually get the kind of care that they need, we really need this, this pharmacare plan so that they can get the prescriptions and it's not going to cost them as much as it normally would. You know, we really need to start buying in bulk so that the cost of, of prescriptions can go way down. Um, we also we also need to invest a lot more in, in the social services of communities. We need to create um, more affordable, better childcare, affordable housing, um, better better um, sorry better uh, just just better um, infrastructure in, in communities altogether. Creating these social systems is going to help a lot of the of the feel of a community come together so much more. Thank you. And you have 30 final seconds. Yes, yeah, since we are indeed talking about uh, the issue of seniors, as you probably know, the, the platform uh, which we released uh, weeks ago uh, is actually an increase in GIS uh, benefit of approximately up to uh, $800. Also here in this community, I was uh, very happy to uh, participate in, in the opening of a, of a uh, Housing for Seniors Centre called Blue Willow Terrace, uh, a project that uh, I promoted in the community because I feel that it's very important for, for seniors to have uh, affordable uh, housing and uh, we paid we paid to the great work you have done in this community. Thank you.